everybody, it's Carrie with GoingFlippinCrazy.com. I'm sitting here in my kitchen. All of my electricity went out today. I have no idea why. It just went out about, um, let me see, 30 minutes ago. I don't know why the electricity is out, but I wanted to use the computer, and I can't do that. I wanted to make myself a turkey burger with my George Foreman grill. I can't even do that. And like I said, I have no idea why the electricity is out. Look, it's a beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day out. And nothing going on outside. Look at that blue sky. Come on now. So, I don't know what's up with electricity. Anyway, since I'm just sitting here, I figured I would give people that are looking to get started in the ATM business, or perhaps they already did get started, and are just looking for some more tips. I figured I'd give people some tips about how to go about finding your first location or your next location. Um, first tip I want to say is start local. You know, approach the people that uh, businesses in your area that you already have an established relationship with. You know, maybe the local Chinese restaurant, the local pizza shop, um, the local mom and pop deli. Go there, start talking to them. You know, you already have a relationship with the owner or the people that work there. Uh, so talk to them, see if they might be interested. Second tip is cash only pay places. Look for cash only businesses. They rock. <laughs> you have the potential if you find a cash only business that does not have an ATM machine. I'll let you put, in, put one in there. You have the potential of having an A plus location right there. Seriously. Um, granted, there's not as many cash only businesses out there as there are businesses that take credit cards and debit cards, but trust me, there are cash only businesses out there and they can be money machines for you. Um, and some of the cash only businesses might very well be those local places like your mom and pop deli, your local Chinese restaurant, your local pizza shop. So just look around. Um, third thing is college towns. If you live in a college town or near a college town or have a college, you know, maybe like within an hour or so from you, go there. <laughs> see what businesses are around and talk to the owners and see if you can put an ATM machine in there if there's not one already. College kids love to hit up the ATM. And if you can get a good location that like college kids frequent, another A-plus location you have right there. You'll have a money machine there. Um, another thing is if you go into locations that you think would be a really great spot, like a great location, you get a lot of traffic or maybe it's very visible on the highway or whatever, any place that you think would be an awesome spot for an ATM machine and they already have one, don't give up. Don't stop there. You know, or if they said they've been talking to somebody else about an ATM machine, don't stop there. Start talking to them about it. You know, use your personality. Uh, get to know them. Ask them questions. Just be a person, you know, and they might decide to go with you instead of the person they've been dealing with. Uh, perhaps if they have an ATM machine, maybe they're unhappy with the service. Maybe they're unhappy with the people uh, that are providing them you know, the service, maybe they don't call them back in a timely fashion. I don't know. There could be a million things, but just because you see a machine there, don't give up. I mean, approach them. You never know. And the last thing is tell your family and friends about what you're doing, and even coworkers if you have another job. Tell everybody what you do. Ask for leads. Ask for referrals if they can think of any businesses that would be a good spot for your ATM. Um, tell them you pay a referral fee, you know. What referral fee should you pay them? I don't know, it's up to you. 250 bucks, 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, whatever you want. Um, a tip though is don't pay a referral fee until after the three month trial. Remember I told you about we offer a three month trial first. Um, I guess I can talk more about that in another video, but it's real simple. Three month trial, it's really for the business owner and for us to make sure the location warrants an ATM, you know, because if you're not going to get business, you don't, you don't want your machine there. So after the three month trial, if we determine that it'll be a good spot, then pay a referral fee. That's just a tip because you don't want to pay somebody 250 bucks or 500 bucks up front, put it in a spot, you know, a location that does like two hits a month. You know what I mean? You really don't want to do that. Um, but I guess the key is also pay people referral fees so they keep bringing you different locations. So there are a couple tips for you. Um, I'll go with me real quick. Just local local companies, businesses that you already deal with, that you're familiar with. Um, cash only restaurants. Uh, a lot of BYOB places I've been finding are cash only. 
So look for BYOB places, not only cash-only restaurants, but just any cash-only business. Um, college areas, college towns, um, businesses in college towns or college areas. I'd say maybe even um, a half hour or so outside of where the college is is really viable as well. Um, also, places that already have ATMs. Okay, they could be unhappy with the providers. Uh, or somebody, a place that is already talking to different ATM people. Talk to them. Maybe they'll like you better. Maybe you have something in common, you know. Um, and the last one is ask for referrals. Friends, family, anybody, coworkers. Ask them if they know any place, places that, you know, would be a good spot for an ATM. And tell me to pay them a referral fee. All right. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them below. Of course, you can also shoot me an email. Um, once again, this is Carrie with GoingFlippinCrazy.com. Thanks. Have a great day.